Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to show you how I got this look. I used some drugstore products. I used some products that I got from my recent Sephora haul when they had their sale. And I've tried a new mascara trick. It's interesting. I flubbed up a lot in this video, but if you're not new here, you already know that that happens a lot anyways, and I fix it. So I hope you stick with me. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. It's a hard last name to say, that's why I say it. I'm 52 years old. I've been a professional makeup artist and licensed hairstylist for over 25 years. I'm dipping into fashion a little bit, although I never wear those clothes when I'm doing my makeup videos because I'm a mess, as you will see. If you don't already know that, I just drop everything. So I don't wear my nice clothes when I'm doing my makeup because I ruin everything if I do that. Before I get going, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, and share, comment. When you comment below, even if it's a smiley face, it helps the algorithm know that people are enjoying my videos and it helps me out a lot. All the products that I use today will be linked in my description box. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Let's get some makeup on this face. Skincare that I've been loving lately is by Timeline. I mentioned it in another video as well, or did I mention it in a live? I'm not sure. They sent it to me a few months ago and I've really had a good chance to try it out. It has Mitopure in it and I just went down a rabbit hole of investigating what that actually means. The word popped right into my head. Yay, <laughs> that never happens. It always leaves my head. It has urolithin A and it's from pomegranates. There's a bunch of studies going on with urolithin A and how it affects the mitochondria and that excites me. Science and me, we did not get along in school, but ever since I've dealt with health issues, I love looking up scientific information on the body and on the skin. So when I was researching that line and learning about how urolithin A, uh, which is might appear in this brand, how it affects the mitochondria and um, I can't regurgitate everything that I learned and I hate that. I understood it when I learned it, but I just can't say it how I learned it. I wish I could. Anyway, it's really interesting. My skin loves it. Okay, so I'm cheating up my tan a little bit. I have used this before. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. You see how I have more color on my shoulder? It's a nice consistency to cheat up your tan and add a little bit of life to your face. If you try to do that with a thicker foundation or a more full coverage foundation, you can see where the stop and start happens. But when it's something like this, it blends so easily. Maybe that's all I want today. Hmm, you know what? I think that's all I need today. My daughter and her boyfriend are coming for dinner and my son made it home again this weekend from the military. So we're having steak. I think I hear my husband preparing it actually. So I don't have to look perfect. Um, not that I ever do try to look perfect, but yeah, that's actually, that's so nice guys. Really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go get concealer. Somebody's here. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. And this is in the color 2.2R. Did I get 2.2R? I usually don't, I usually get a neutral. 2.0R. I had to use this the other day in the video that didn't work out because of the sound quality. And I really liked it. I liked it better than the other one that I tried on in the beginning, which was the uh, Dior Face and Body. Yeah, it was the Dior Face and Body. I think my mindset was that I was gonna pick an R because I wanted it to act like a color corrector. Yeah, that works. This one's really nice. Nice and light, looks like skin. I'm actually gonna set a little bit more right there and I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I always do that. I blend it out too fast, I think, so. I'm gonna let that sit, I'll put this back. So this is Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm just gonna clear off my eyes. Uh-oh, is my daughter here? Oh no. <laughs> I lose track of time when I'm doing my makeup. I think I've been in here for a while. Maybe my hair needs to be curly today? Darn it. What time is it? Oh no, it's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna blend that out. Yeah, I think that's better. 
I missed a spot right there. Okay, and today, since I'm wanting to be more natural, I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette and just keep it really simple. I always say that and then it never happens. Okay, I am going to use, I'm gonna go all over the lid with this one, which is mesh. And I'm using a fluffy brush. This one is the Refer 16. Just want a light wash of color, I think. <laughs> it's just so much fun. The longer I stay in here, the less I have to do in the kitchen. Yeah, I can hear him out there. He's such a good cook. I'll clean. Good, smooth, easy peasy. I should zoom you guys in, hold on. Yeah, is that better? Sorry guys, I normally zoom you in right away. Yeah, I feel like I'm dry. What should I go into next? Okay, I promise I'm gonna stay away from that one. I promise. <laughs> uh, oh, let's do that one. This one is called Filigree, and I'm gonna put it on the eye like this. Why not? And I'm gonna drag it up with my finger. That is just as dark. I normally do. Uh, that's pretty though. That's soft and subtle, isn't it? Of course. Yeah. And do the same thing on the other side. I'll be using shimmer forever, you guys. Forever. Okay, bring it right to the little spot there. And I'll have to clean that up. I'm messy today, as usual. I'm gonna take a little off my finger and then just drag it up. I will use a brush again at some point. Yeah, way out here, whatever. That's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one, which is Whisper, right in here. And I'm gonna drag it over that other color. Is that too bright? Do you guys notice how I switch my fingers? So I apply it with this one and then I take an empty clean finger and I go over. Okay, that's pretty. Same thing on this side. So I apply it with this finger and then I, I just cleaned up under the eyes. I don't know if you guys saw that. I think my camera turned off. I saw one of my favorite makeup artists the other day doing her lashes. She's so good. I wanna try something. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. She curls hers from the top to the bottom. I just tinted my eyelashes, by the way. There was a fluff. Okay, so she goes from the end up here and then goes down and then goes down to the root. And then I'm gonna put a mascara on. She, oh, I can feel that. <laughs> she uses a waterproof and I'm not gonna do that. If this doesn't work, I will try her method with the waterproof. She has really straight lashes. I don't have that straight of a lash. I'm gonna put my Tower 28 mascara on Wow, they're really curly. Then I think I'm gonna add this. I may hate it, I don't know. So that is the Dior Lash Primer. Is that what it is? The Dior Maximizer 3D. We'll see if it works. I don't know that she did exactly that, but she did mention it. Oh my goodness, get off of there. Oh well, that looks good. Okay. I 
I can hear the football playing. I'm so sad I'm missing it. Do it again. She was much smoother at it <laughs> than I am. I also want to get that corner lash curler from Shiseido. I used to have one years ago. I don't know what happened to it. Because the corner here is my problem. I forgot she combs through them and I did not do that. I'm gonna clean that off. Boy, that really does take off the mascara though. Am I doing it wrong? This one wasn't as bad, so maybe it was because it dried. Get in there. I'm gonna leave that alone for a second. To be fair, I had something in this eye. I edited it out. It's having a fish, whatever, <laughs> was in there out. So that's probably why that side looks weird. So I'm gonna go on this eye and build this up. Do you think it's gonna make my curl drop? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna put something on my lips because they are really dry. This is the L'Oreal Long Last. Color Riche Matte, number 112, matte, and I can't see the name. Did I get that even? I think so. Good enough. That feels better. I haven't decided what I'm gonna put on over top of this, but I like that color. Let's go again. Whoa. Let's get that up. This side, my lashes are looking so good. I don't know if I can get that on the other side. I should have left it alone and compared the two. Darn. Yeah, there's a lash coming down here. <laughs> my lashes didn't curl well on that side. I don't sleep on my side, but when I wake up, it's definitely turned to the side. I wonder if I'm smushing my lashes. I forgot I had this. I just wiped the fingerprints off of it. So this is the Patrick Ta Contour. It's the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. It's in She Sculpted. I got this with the Sephora sale. So yeah, that's gonna be a good color. I'm gonna use a Sephora brush and, oh, stay. Go right in like that. It looks like it's not gonna be overly pigmented, which is good. I'm not a huge sculptor. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I really like natural. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice, um, like if I were to compare it to Tower 28, it's more of a liquidy. It's not liquidy, it's cream, but it's a smoother cream. So not as dry feeling as a Tower 28. There are my dogs. Is that good? Is it showing up? Hmm. I'm gonna take a little bit on my fingers and just go down my nose slightly. 
That's the kind of shaping I like. I don't like a real harsh line. I really don't care if my nose is skinnier. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna use Dusty Rose by Makeup by Mario. And, oh, that's a lot. It sure does have a glow, eh? I noticed that the other night in the video that didn't work out. I can really see it here in the mirror, but I did find that it lasted. So it's not so dewy that it moves. All right, let's see about my lashes. I'm gonna have to curl these again. This is where that lash curler would come in handy. Yeah, cause I still have these little dinky things there. Hey, that's working. I slept in until 10 o'clock this morning. Am I coming down with something? Like, you know when you get really clumsy and things just aren't going as you planned? Right before you get a cold or a flu or something? That's not happening to me. I'm determined. But it's not like me to sleep until 10. Okay, I think that made a really big difference. Let me know what you guys think. My brows hardly need anything because I just freshly tinted them. I do, I think that that serum's working. So I don't know if you can get Revive 7 in the States. I'm not sure where you can get it. It's here in Canada. I'll leave a link for you. And if I can find a link for you, maybe the store that I find it at, maybe they will send to the States, I'm not sure, or send to other countries. Stein, I'm not sure about you or anyone else that watches from other countries. It's not that expensive, it's $80. I always feel like this is such a long process and there's so much silence. My skin is also tinted a little bit from tinting my eyebrows, so that could be why they're looking a little bit thicker, but I don't think so. Now I'm gonna use the bronzing powder. I'm gonna use this brush from that company that sent me their brushes off of Amazon. I feel like it's Beely. So I'm just gonna dip into here. Just tap right there. Yeah, and that warmed up my skin a little bit. Now I'm gonna try the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch, and I got this in Cherry Blossom Cake. If I use a press powder, I generally use Charlotte Tilbury, or I also have the Revlon Photo, photo Finish. Yeah, it's a Photo Finish. Can you guys see that? It is quite light. I was trying to follow the trend of the pink powder. I hope it works okay and doesn't make me look too light. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 110 and Am I ready to, yeah. I almost said, am I ready to snatch? <laughs> am I ready to press it? Oh. That looks good. What do you think? And a little bit right there. I like this better than the Prism Libre. I said it. I don't understand the hype for that one. I'm also going to put a little bit right here because I don't have any eyeshadow there. Just 
to brighten that up. That is nice. I'm also going to put some right there. Now this is going crazy because I never really powder there, but I want to see what happens. Might put just a little bit right in there. I like that a lot. It's better than some of the others I own and I don't feel dry at all. I'm gonna use a Laura Mercier gloss and this is in color Macaron. Macaron. And I'm just gonna tap it on a little bit. Yeah. Not too much. They smell nice. Not sticky. They don't feel like an oil though. Like there's some tackiness a little bit. You need a little tackiness or it's not gonna stay. During the sale, I picked up an all-nighter setting spray. I used to use this. And I forgot about it. I wanted to give it another try. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury all the time. Charlotte Tilbury is more expensive, is it not? So it's important that we have options. All right, I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and I will be right back. I feel like I should cut my hair like those pieces. I wanted to show you one more thing. Did I do this already? I don't think I set my brows already. Gosh, if I did, then I'm not sure if I like this product. <laughs> so this is the Patrick Ta Four Brows Major Brow Illumination Gel. I wanna show you, I don't know if I can, hang on. Yeah, you see? Can you see the, <laughs> it's kinda like glueish. Let me see, I don't think I did this. Is it taking off my brow color? I don't know what's making this so different except for that it doesn't feel hard and crusty. I wanna be able to forget that this is in my eyebrows. Sometimes products make my eyebrows itchy and I find I'm just you know, doing this and then it looks flaky. I don't find that with this product. I need to buy the full size. And then it starts getting tacky and you can push it down. It did expose the errors in my pencil though. Good enough. Nobody's looking that close. Don't forget that, nobody's looking that close. We have the 10 times mirror in front of us and we can see every flaw, and it's not a flaw, but every eyebrow out of place, in my case, my eyebrows point down half the time, the wrinkles, the pigmentation, nobody's looking at that. So relax, have fun. Makeup should be all about you and how you feel and art therapy and fun. If you find that you criticize yourself when you're doing your makeup, take a step back. Nobody's looking at you that close. I promise nobody's looking at you that close. The only people that are gonna look at your makeup are people like me maybe because I'm a professional and I'm trained to see things. But even when I look, it's not out of judgment. Always remember that. And if people are judging you, you need to step away from those people. Anyway, I hope you had fun with me. I had fun. My very clean room is now again a mess, but I have a place for everything, so it's gonna be easy to clean. If you're in the US, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving celebration. And for everyone else, I just hope you had a good weekend. And yeah, I hope this helps. And don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. All the links to the products I use will be in the description box. Share with all your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.